Hi guys, today I'm going to make a creamy tangy hummus and what we need are two tins of chickpeas, one large clove of garlic chopped up, one chicken stock cube, a quarter cup freshly squeezed lemon juice, one cup of tahini paste, half a teaspoon cumin, one tablespoon olive oil, two to four tablespoons iced water and of course 250 ml iced cooking wine. Cheers! Start. We're going to add the chickpeas to a pot of water and we're going to simmer on the stove for 20 minutes. The water should just be covering the chickpeas. On a little tip here, add half a teaspoon baking soda or bicarbonate soda to make the chickpeas really nice and soft for a creamy, tangy hummus. While we leave the chickpeas to soften on the stove, the next stages we take the lemon juice, the stock cube, and the garlic and blend until finely chopped and we leave for 10 minutes to allow the garlic flavour to mellow. And a little tip, it also stops the garlic from being too bitter. We've left the garlic to sit now for 10 minutes to mellow and we're now going to add the tahini paste. What tahini paste you use makes a difference. I would recommend using 100% sesame seed with no additives. added the tahini to the mixture and we now blended it and now I'm going to add one or two tablespoons of cold water to keep it not going nice and creamy and you'll have you'll see as we go along the little bit of water that you add keeps it nice and creamy as you as you're blending it As it's getting thicker and creamier, we have to stop the blender, push it down with the spatula, and we keep doing this until it's nice and creamy, and you can just see it. The final stage is adding the chickpeas, olive oil, and cumin to the mixture and blending. This is how your chickpeas should look, very mushy and soft. That's what the bicarb does. It helps to break down the outer coating of the chickpea and makes it nice and creamy. When I took the chickpeas off the stove, I rinsed them first in cool water to remove all traces of bicarb and to bring down the temperature. You want to use cool chickpeas in your mixture because hot or warm will give your hummus a weird coating. Mmm, rich and creamy. I think it's time for a taste test. But before that, let's cleanse the palate. Finally, the finished product. Lovely hummus, creamy, with different toppings. You can use parsley, a bit of smoked paprika like we have. Uh, you can cut up some onions, caramelize them and put them on the top. But there you have it. Tangy, creamy, delicious hummus with love.